Hello honeybees, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if it's your first time here, my name is Bisola, also known as Queen Bee. I film about my experiences as a foreigner living in China. So if that's something you're interested in, consider hitting the subscribe button and join this beautiful family. So today I'm in my dormitory. This is how my dormitory environment actually looks like. Yeah, it's kind of rural area and there are a lot of buildings, old buildings here. So this is where I live. But the funny thing about this place is like the outfit does not look that nice, but inside is quite nice yeah compared to the outside but that aside today i'm going to the hospital i recently started my internship like one month ago uh, i was in respiratory department but now i'm moving to cardiology department so i decided to take you guys along with me just to see what it's like doing internship in china and you know spend a day with me and get some information and i guess i will not be able to like vlog every everything because you know hospital is kind of sensitive details and you don't want to show too many people's faces and like for privacy so maybe i'll guide you through the process and show you also the things i can show you i hope you stick around and i hope you enjoy this vlog <laughs> Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> These things are always falling down. This tree has so many things. This one, <laughs> this one is annoyed. It has so many things and it keeps falling down. This red thing. It's actually very stressful, but it's part of their job description. Sometimes I feel like these things can never fall on my head, but let's hope not. So yeah, this is my dormitory area. In case you are curious, it's nothing fancy, nothing special. I don't live in a mansion yet, okay? Heard it all about you, won't believe a word. So let me know. So let me know. Hi, good friend. Hello. When we enter the hospital there, is, there are usually people that ask for our qr code to ensure you're not coming from somewhere that there's covid so they are not there today and i'm thinking what if today covid patient come what will they do hmm? if you are going to do a precaution why can't you do it every day i don't understand so this is the building we are coming today for cardiology this is the hospital that is also inpatient building. It's very tall. This is also an inpatient building. Yeah.
Okay, so I removed my mask. I'm at an isolated corner, so don't worry. Usually by 8 a.m. they do meetings, which we don't really attend because like everything is in Chinese. Like it's little or no thing that you learn. But this is why you should get Chinese serious. I know my Chinese is fine, like it's okay, but for medical terms it's quite different and there's really not much you can learn. So you can choose to go if you want to go. Most times I just come for the world round. And depending on the teacher that is or the doctor that is um, in charge that day like some doctors will just do board rounds with you with the Chinese interns why some doctors will like attempt to you especially and like show you the cases and explain to you the situation after the board rounds some doctors don't understand English at all <laughs> while some of them understand so you still need to know how to speak Chinese and learn your Chinese if you are planning to do internship here Daylight and I gotta find my way out. Stuck inside this place now. Feel out the right. All the things I say, I'll make them run away, but I'll keep trying. On today's episode of Chinese Corner, I'm going to be teaching you how to say I want to see the doctor. Since we're in the hospital setting now and at some point in life, everyone is going to need to see a doctor. Even though you don't really fall sick, at least you need to go for some checkup. So to say I want to see a doctor in Chinese, you say 我要看医生 我要 means I want then Isha means doctor. So I just finished for the day and there was nothing much, we just learned how to auscultate the patient. So I auscultated the patient that had um, cardio dilation, cardiomyopathy. And, like we learned the correct order to auscultate the patient and also the cause. And we're also learning how to read the ECG, like to know what areas to focus on. And the patient we had today had atrial fibrillation, so we're just checking that out. Yeah, there was nothing much, and it was a struggle to understand each other because the doctor today did not know how to speak English, so she had to be translating back and forth, and it was so stressful. So we just learned a little, but now we are going back to our dormitory and going to eat. And these are people waiting for the elevator. Yeah. So if you are planning to do your internship here, you can't really rely on the doctors. Everything still has to fall back to you. There is little they can do except they really know how to speak good English. You can just go back and read by yourself. And when you come to the hospital, you can have a knowledge you can relate to. Some doctors are good. And our elevator is... Now these security men are here, the ones that were not here in the morning. So I'm wondering what happened to the the time they were not there if people actually came with COVID. <laughs> but it's not bad, they're actually trying to take these precautions. So they have this thing on the street for signals. So I think these things are for blind people that cannot read. I that's one thing I like about China, they accommodate everybody. And this is somebody trying to do Read fingers. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what? Shema? <laughs> I was trying to make a video once just now, and just one man just came to tap me and was like, I cannot make videos. This is actually the not the first time, but most times they, they don't have problem with videos, so I don't know. And these people are still here doing Tai Chi. These are the people I showed you in the morning. That's one thing I love about Chinese. Like they always take their exercise very serious. And I think that's why they also grow old, very old and healthy. So 
I guess because we've been living here for a while, like the security men don't ask us for the QR code. Like usually it's kind of QR code whenever we are going into a community or like wherever there's a security gate. But I noticed the security guy doesn't ask us to show our QR code because I guess they know we live here now. Or if you are a Chinese, like they don't know which Chinese lives where because there are so many Chinese everywhere. Like everywhere is Chinese, but like because we are foreigners, I guess they know. So maybe that's one advantage. But some people, everywhere they see you, every time they ask for a QR code. So it's another day in cardiology department and today we are going to attend the surgery and this is my doctor and we have AXA in the building Dr. AXA <laughs> Sunny It's a sunny day and in the hospital streets these are different buildings so I've actually gone for a surgery before and that was it's been a while actually I've never forgotten the surgery I went for but yeah so we are going to do like interventional procedures for cardiology like um, PCI actually September 30th and tomorrow they have their national holiday and usually they celebrate their national holiday for a whole full week so most of the patients they are not patients in the hospital like patient doesn't want to celebrate national holiday and they also got their independence on October 4th the same as Nigerian independence so like they share the same independent day and there was one man that kept staying around when our doctor was explaining things to us and I was looking for a pen and he gave me his pen <laughs> and I wanted to return it and he said no don't worry that I'm giving it to you and he asked to take a picture with me <laughs> <laughs> <笑>我带你去玩一下 I did not realize it was the one. You must have not married. Was she in the real Liada? Ah, near Liada. Oh, near Liada, who put Tumba. Near Liada, you know, 
什么？你家娃娃大瀑布，那那那是是是你的家吗？是不去，我是在瀑布。你们家来过？是下黄果树那个瀑布吗？嗯，不是你的家，可能是别的地方。那那可能是别的地方。对，我地理不是很好。<笑>没关系。<笑> Literally everywhere you go, somebody asks you for a picture. I was in the elevator today, and one lady asked me for a picture, like in the crowded elevator. You see how the elevators are crowded. She was like, "Please, can I take a picture with you?" I was just laughing, but I just said okay, and she was so happy, so it's okay.